Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will show you how to classify objects in FreeCAD BIM. Classification is important in architecture, engineering and construction field because it gives an object a clear description of what it is. This description can usually be read by both people and machines and it helps in interoperability between different stakeholders of construction process and later in life cycle process of a building. There are many different classification systems and it is typical to use different classification systems across different countries. So in the UK you might use Uniclass classification system, in the United States you would use Omniclass and you would use CCS classification system in Denmark for instance. So let me now jump into FreeCAD 1.0 with my sample project which I will want to classify. So for the classification make sure that you have got nothing selected and you start the classification by using the manage classification tool. This opens up classification manager. You can see that it has got two parts. Here on the left side I've got my project objects and here on the right side is the classification system and classes. So on the left side you can see the objects that are in my project and you can sort them in different way. So here I can choose alphabetical, uh, sort them according to IFC class which is quite useful sort them according to material, which I don't have separated here, or uh, according to the model structure. So I think the most useful is according to IFC type or alphabetically. So this is the project and here is always the object and here is the class that is assigned to the object so now it's empty. Now here on the right side we have got classification systems but when I clicked on the drop down, I have no available classification systems. This is because by default, FreeCAD comes without any classification system pre installed. So you have to install your own classification system. And you can see information here down below that the classification systems can be either in XML or IFC files, and you can download them here. But as of FreeCAD 1.0, this link is out of date. If I click on it, you can see that it still works. And uh, I can, uh, it's a GitHub repo where I have got XML and IFC files, but you can see that they have been last updated very long time ago. And this, uh, uh, this address is not yet active. So instead of this repo, it's recommended to use the repo of IFC OpenShell. I will link this in the description box below, but this will change with the uh, newer versions. So this might also be not uh, accurate in the, in the future. Uh, this, one is, uh, this one is updated more frequently than the original one. Or what you can also do is on the BIM classification page uh, on the FreeCAD Wikipedia, there's a link down here, downloading classification systems. There's a link to Graphisoft page where on the Graphisoft page, uh, you have got the data of, uh, of the classification systems in XML formats. So I would recommend downloading them from here uh, so from here I will download, let's say, the Danish CCS classification system and I will save it to my documents. So it's the XML format and from the, from the uh, bonsai, uh, bonsai uh, repo I will download the Uniclass IFC file. So if I click on it here it shows the raw form and I will download the raw file clicking on this button and again I will save it to the documents folder. So now I can switch here and you can see that I've got the XML and the IFC files 
download it but back in the classification manager you can see that the classification system can be downloaded there where I downloaded it and placed to this uh, location on your hard disk so it may be different on different operation systems on Windows it's this one so I will go to uh, the folder which is users the name of the user up data roaming free cat and BIM the this address will be in the description box below but you can see that there's a classification folder and the classification folder is by default not created here so I have to create it so I will create a new folder and I will name it classification and I will copy those two files inside of the classification folder so I will go to documents and copy them here and now I will close the classification manager and I will go back to the FreeCAD and if I open the classification manager again it looks into that folder and you can see that I have uh, available classification systems here so both of them that I uh, copied there are available for me to work with so here I can search through the classification system and see all of the classification classes and let's say I want to assign this wall exterior a class of construction elements functional system a wall system so I will select it here and use the apply to select it tool uh, button now you can see that the object has been classified but in front of the classification uh, code and the classification name uh, the name of the classification system was placed and this is because I have this checked prefix with uh, classification system name so I usually don't want to uh, have the classification system name there so I will uncheck this and classify again apply to the classification uh, apply to the object so um, you can see that now it's without the prefix so I can you can see that if I choose the wrong classification uh, class I can easily reclassify the object by selecting the correct class and applying again the classification code now what's really useful is the search tool because uh, you might not know all of the classes and, and looking for them is not always very fast so let's say if I wanted to classify the door I would type in door here and you can see all of the classes which have door in the name so I will select this one and uh, classify the door component uh, of, to uh, classify the door as the door component and uh, even though it might not be that common you can also mix uh, two classification systems so I can switch to uniclass I cannot assign two different classification system to uh, one object unfortunately but uh, of course I can assign different classification systems to different uh, different uh, objects so yeah I will classify this door in the unit class so this doesn't make sense but it's just to demonstrate that you can you can uh, create uh, you can create you can classify with different classification systems now what you can also do is select multiple objects and uh, classify them at once of course so I could apply classification like this so if I if I filter by IFC class I could choose all of the windows and classify classify them as a uh, as a window system and all of them are classified at once which is which is really neat now you have also this option to set as name which will set the 
name of the class to the name of the or the label of the object so if i select this door and i will look for door classes and i will scroll down here to uh, yeah, let's choose again the doors and windows and i would set as name this object the name of the object would be changed to doors and windows which is the name of the class so you might find this useful now the last thing in this dialog is to show here in this list only visible object or if i uncheck it i would show all of the ob objects in the project but as i have all of them visible it doesn't show it doesn't change but this is this is the option here so now uh, we have got these object classified and if i hit ok it will be applied and the classification uh, the classes are not visible anywhere in the in the properties of the object you can see them only by firing the classification manager again and you can see the list now the classification manager has another mode this one uh, it opens up the classification manager when uh, I start the classification manager and when I have nothing selected it opens up like this or if I have multiple objects selected but if I have just one object selected and I fire up the manager you can see that I'm immediately classifying just this one object so I can select uh, I will again search for wall and if i change it to the re retaining system hit ok this wall will be classified as the retaining system the wall that i had selected so don't be surprised if the classification manager opens up only in the limited form where you where you are classifying only the one object so this is how you classify objects in freecad note that in freecad 1.0 there's a currently a bug which means that sometimes the classification is not exported or converted to ifc fixing bugs like this takes a quite a lot of effort so consider supporting the project by donating to it to make bugs like this disappear much more faster I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.